What's up, Internet? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness, and once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. I had someone on my Facebook ask me about para workout supplementation. So today we're going to talk about what supplements I recommend before and after a workout. So let's get right into it. First of all, before a workout, um, I like to take uh, coconut oil. I prefer having a fat source uh, full of like an MCT, medium chain, train, uh, medium chain triglycerides, uh, uh, before a workout rather than carbohydrates. Now, I, I don't find carbohydrates sit well with me during a workout. In fact, I, I don't get energy from it. I don't feel like I do. I, get, I feel sluggish if I have a lot of carbs before. So I prefer taking uh, something with MCTs. I mean, some people prefer just an MCT fuel. Um, but coconut oil is cheap and it sits well with me and I do notice the energy from it. Um, so that's my preference. And I also take a whey protein shake before and after my workout. In addition to the coconut oil, I also take a supplement called L-carnitine. Now, L-carnitine supposedly helps the transportation of fatty acids into the mitochondria of the cell. So it helps you use fat as a fuel source more efficiently during your workout. So this goes well with the coconut oil because you're going to be able to use those fatty acids very efficiently during the workout. Uh, and I do find that taking L-carnitine beforehand, I do feel like I have more strength and energy during the workouts. I also like to take my creatine uh, pre-workout. Now I take a creatine HCL. So I find this sits very well with me. Some people may have a little bit of uh, stomach issues with creatine, uh, some bloat or distension if they take it before a workout that it might interfere with their workout, in which case definitely take it afterwards. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference if you take it before or after. I just prefer to take it before. Um, and with the HCL, I have no stomach issues at all. This is really easily digested, very bioavailable. Uh, so that's great for pre-workout. And there's just so much research to support the benefits of taking creatine for hypertrophy and for strength and recovery. So to me, it doesn't make sense not to take it. Now, usually I'd also take a caffeine pill or have a strong black coffee before a workout as well. But lately, I find a having too much coffee. I've been having a coffee in the morning and uh, to stay alert in the afternoon. Um, and I'm trying to cut back on stimulants. So what I've been using instead is uh, dendrobium. Now, if you look at a lot of the pre-workout supplements nowadays, ever since they removed the geranium extract from the market, a lot of them are including uh, the dendrobium. And I like it because it's a stimulant-free uh, pre-workout energy booster. What does it say here? Uh, take one capsule daily to improve stamina, strength, and mental focus. So as a pre-workout, this has been working very well for me. Uh, I don't get that buzz like I would from stimulants, but I still feel like I have a lot of alertness and energy, and I just feel good. That's kind of like a little bit of a high. So I'd rather take the pure supplement than a pre-workout that has it's loaded with all sorts of other stimulants and ingredients like that. Now let's look at post-workout. First thing I try to do right away after workout is have another protein shake, this time loaded with carbohydrates. So usually 60, 40 in favor of carbs. When I take my carbohydrates post-workout, I do like to take supplements that will help with nutrient partitioning. So one of them is uh, the green tea extract. Um, and I do like to stack that with alpha-lipoic acid. And uh, like uh, Tim Ferriss talked about in the 4-Hour Body, uh, this is meant to help increase nutrient partition or help shuttle the carbohydrates into the muscle cells. Um, and also insulin sensitivity is already improved uh, after a workout. So I find that does help. That does make a difference. Um, and green tea extract and uh, alpha lipoic acid are both strong antioxidants as well. So they also have health benefits. Now as far as the brand of supplements I recommend, many of you already know that I am sponsored by SD Pharmaceuticals and there's a reason for that. Because my reputation is strongly tied to the recommendations I make, I chose to be an ambassador for a company that only produces and sells supplements that are evidence-based. And if you check out their website, you'll see that they only produce and sell supplements that have scientific research to back them up. Now having said that, your nutrition plan and your training program are the foundation for the results you're going to get. Supplementation is just that. It's to supplement a strong foundation of a solid training program and nutrition plan. If you don't have those in place, in my opinion, supplementation is going to do very little. I hope that answers your question as far as what supplements I recommend before and after a workout. If you have any recommendations for yourself or if you want to relate your own experience, I look forward to hearing from you. Please put a comment down below. And until next time, stay strong.
like to blast that in the gym, welcome to the Barbarian Stronghold. First, let me take you on a tour of the gym and talk about what I would recommend if you're just starting out with a basic home gym.